Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for the Strider plugin in Unreal Engine 4. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the bank warping node to see how we can turn straight running animations into arcing banking animations uh, procedurally. So let's have a look at the bank warp node. It takes a single input, uh, this bank value. Now this could be your yaw rate uh, or whatever, whatever in your game makes sense as something that is going to cause banking, where zero is straight, negative is to the left, banking to the left, and positive is banking to the right. So if I change this bank value, you can see that our character is actually changing how their posture uh, to be running in an arc. So in this case, we can see that the character is being leaned to the left when my bank value is, um, you know, leaning to the right rather, when my bank value is positive and leaning to the left when my bank value is negative. Now there's two things that are happening here. Firstly, we are tilting the entire body and we're also rotating the spine progressively. So twisting the upper body progressively up to the head in this case to simulate that bank. And we can tweak these values as much as we like. We can even eliminate the twist or eliminate the lean. Let's have a look at how these are set up. So let's go to a somewhat blank uh, setup here and we'll add in the bank warp node. We'll plug in the pose inputs and outputs and we'll hit compile. And nothing's gonna happen just yet because we need to set up the root bone. That's the bone that's gonna be uh, rotated to tilt the character. And then we also need to set up the spine chain. I'm gonna go all the way to the head with this one. So first one, spine one, spine two. Remember, don't skip any bones in this chain. Um, it's really important that we have every single one. So now we need to go to the neck, is the next one, I believe, for this particular rig, and then the head. So that is our spine chain set up. You might be wondering, why can't I just set the start and the end one, and it figures it out for you? And that's because we need to have these individual weights here, which we can tweak um, how strong each of these bones are moved. Let me just set the ground back to zero here. Okay. So this should now work. We need to drag off a bank value and let's promote that to a variable. I'll call this bank. And let's just give it an arbitrary values for now between negative 10 and 10. Obviously the values are gonna have to be dependent on your game and the, the numbers you're coming out for your, your rate or something like that for your game. So here we have the settings and if I bank, you can see that it is working in principle. It's probably not too great at the moment. For example, that bank is really steep. Let's change all these settings. So let's start with the lean. 15 degree lean is the max here. I think that is a bit too much. Let's make a max lean of 10 degrees. And now we have our lean rate. This is how much degrees of lean we're doing per unit of bank. So. We did bank from negative 10 to positive 10 in this case, and our max lean is 10. So it makes sense that when to have a lean rate of one unit per bank unit, if that makes sense. <laughs> these, these units are kind of arbitrary in this particular use case. But now when bank is max, our lean is gonna be max and it's only gonna be 10%. We could set this even to zero. If we wanna have no lean um, whatsoever, and that's fine we just get upper body twist in that case and vice versa for the twist we can also change the max twist here so for now it's uh, 30 degrees we could change this to say 45 to get an extreme turn here uh, but we also need to change the twist rate so because we got a bank value between negative 10 and 10 it makes sense for this to be 4.5 if our max twist is 45 degrees so now we're getting a really big twist here let's set it to maybe 25 yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So there's only one more setting here and that is the smoothing value. And you probably are going to want to set some amount of smoothing because when you're calculating your character's yaw rate, it can be quite a sensitive calculation that jitters a lot. So you're gonna probably want some smoothing either in your event graph or by using the smoothing value here. Negative one is instant. If we set this to say 50, let's see what happens when we go from negative 10 to 10. You can see the character smoothly changes from one to the other. Obviously a higher number is gonna be faster, negative 10 and 10. And if we set it to something like one, it's gonna be painfully slow. 
and it's getting there and there it is. So that's the bank warp node in a nutshell. It's a very simple node. Uh, it does what it says on the tin. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial, which will be about the acceleration warping node. And that's the last one before we do the full walkthrough in the example project. Thank you.